Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Maps. I'm Dr. Samuel. And we have looked at simplification of fractions previously. So now we come to calculations involving decimals or decimal fractions. Now, a decimal fraction is like the figures I have here 23.51 and 3.2. There is a decimal point. And the figures after the point indicate a fraction out of 10 or multiple of 10. So, for example, 23.51, 5, the 5 here is 5 tenths, 5 over 10. The 1 here is 1 over 100. So the 0.51 basically is 51 over 100. And the 3.2, the 2 is 2 tenths. So we're looking now at how we calculate involving those decimal fractions. Now, before we get into the actual calculations, we have to look at how we approximate decimal fractions because that's important. Let us, for example, look at the calculation I have here and actually calculate it. 23.51 times 3.2. Let's calculate it. Twenty three point five one multiplied by three point two equals. As you can see, the answer is seventy five point two three two. And as you can see, you have many more places after well, more places after the point here than in any of the figures I'm multiplying, which means that the answer I have is more precise because it's the two at the end is two over a thousand. A basic rule about multiplying, dividing decimals is that you cannot have an answer more precise than what you are actually multiplying or dividing. And that's where significant figures come in, which we'll look at in a while. Your answer can't have more significant figures than the, 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 the figure in the sum with the lowest number of significant figures. We'll look at that rule again shortly. And so we have to look at how we approximate decimal fractions in order to give an answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. And so that is what we will be doing today. We'll be looking at how we approximate decimal fractions. And there are three ways you would normally be required to know about approximation of decimals. Number one, decimal places. Number two, significant figures. And number three, standard form or scientific notation. So let us look at approximation to decimal places first. For this, when you approximate to decimal places, we approximate to the appropriate number of figures after the decimal point. And normally you'll be told how many decimal places to approximate your answer to any calculation. So first, let's look at examples. Approximate this decimal, 23.527939, to one decimal place, to one decimal place. It means that we have to approximate it to only the first place after the point. So therefore, we'll write the 23 points, the number after the point is 5, but before you write it down, check the number after the 5. If this number is 5 or more, then you have to bring the 5 up to 6, increase the 5 to 6, because um, 
0.55, etc., is closer to 0.6. But if the figure is less than 5, as we have here, 2, it stays as 5. So the answer is 23.5. So don't forget that rule. Whenever you're approximating to decimal places, look for the number after the number of places you want and see whether it is 5 or more. So let's look at the second example. To two decimal places, it will be 20. 3. The 5 is one place, so we go to the 2. But since the place after the 2, the 7, is greater than 4, it is 5 or more, then we increase the 2 to 3. So the answer is 23.53. So to 3 decimal places, it is 23 points. Five, two, the third place is seven, and since you have a nine which is greater than four, the seven will increase to eight. To four decimal places, it is twenty three point five two seven. The fourth place is nine, and since the place after the 3 is less than 5, it will stay as 9. So the 4 decimal places is 23.5279. To 5 decimal places, it is 23.5279. And the fifth place is a 3. But since the place after that is 9 greater than 4, we increase the 3 by 1 to 4. And finally, to 6 decimal places, and note this one carefully, it is 23.527913. And the 6 place is 9, but the place after the 6 place is also a 9. It is greater than 4. So we have to increase the 9 by 1, but then we can't do that because you're going to get 2 digits, 10. So instead, we go to the 3 and increase the 3, 9 by 1. Or the 39, you can call it by 1, to get 4, 0. You increase the 3, 9 to 4, 0. And that is decimal places. Let's go on to significant figures. Now, make sure you understand the difference between approximation to decimal places and significant figures. When you approximate to significant figures, we start from the first number, which is not zero. Not like decimal places where we start from the first number after the point. From the first number, that is not zero. But then an important rule here is that you must always maintain the place value of the figures in your answer. So you see it best by looking at the examples. Approximate this number, 617,000.5817, to first one significant figure. Now, the six here is 600,000. It's in the 100,000 place. You must maintain that 100,000 place. So to one significant figure, the first number that's not zero is the six. And since... Just like decimal places, the number after the 6 is less than 5. It will remain as 6. But then to maintain the place value as 100,000, you must add zeros. So the answer is 
thousand. Okay, so that's very important. Maintain the place values. So let's look at number two. To four significant figures, we'll have one, two, three, four. We'll get six, one, seven, zero, because after that fourth zero, you have another zero. So zero. And to maintain the place values, you add two zeros. So you still have 617,000. The six is still 600,000. To seven significant figures. So we count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get to the five after the point. So we write six, one, seven, zero, zero, zero points. And the number after the five is eight. So therefore the five will increase by one to six. So the answer is six one seven zero 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 point six. And finally to nine significant figures, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get to the one and since after the one, you have a seven, the one will increase to two. So the answer is six, one, seven, zero, 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 point five, eight, two. So that's how we approximate to decimal places and significant figures. Many times in the examination, after calculation, you will be told, approximate your answer to a certain number of decimal places or significant figures. The final method of approximation we'll be looking at is standard form. It's also called scientific notation. So we'll look at this in the next video. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also like the video or share it. See you all next time.